integers. To subtract integers, we can add its additive inverse. So additive inverse again is to be able to add its opposite. All right, so let's take a look at an example. What happens if I have 4 minus 9? Well, just using some conceptual understanding here, I have four positive values, and I'm subtracting 9 from it, which means I have to go past 0 on the number line. But let's visualize and illustrate what that means. This time I'm going to put the 4 way over here because I know I'm going to have to get to 0 and it's going to make it past 0. So I have 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and let's just go to negative 1, negative 2, dot, dot, dot. All right? So if I have a 4, but I have to subtract 9 from it, which means I'm going to the left on the number line, then I go 1, 2, 3, 4, five, and dot, 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 etc. right? Notice how I'm already in the negative side of the number line, which means my answer is going to be negative, okay? Well, let's see how I can understand this a little bit easier. I can take the first number, copy it down, and then take the added inverse of the next number, which is a minus nine. So what's the opposite operation of minus? A plus, which means I have to make the opposite nine a negative 9. And now I can see that I have 4 counters, and I'm adding 9 negative counters, which gives me a negative 5. There's one more example I'd like to give for this lesson, and it's what to do when I have a minus negative number. So there, this is saying minus a negative 7 minus a negative 10. So does the number get bigger? Does it get smaller? Well, if I add two negative numbers together, it would have gotten bigger. So I have a feeling the opposite is going to occur in this case. So let's go ahead and use our additive inverse rule. So I have negative 7. This minus now becomes a plus, which undoes or or adds the inverse of negative 10, the opposite of negative 10, which is going to be a positive 10. Now I can see that I have negative 7 pieces, counters, plus 10 counters, which gives me a total of 3 counters. Clearly indicate my answer. And then remember that we have, and I put like a little review here, a minus to a negative. Notice how the negative is a little higher and shorter. This results in canceling each other out, in a sense, to an addition.